I now want to shift to the Pittsburgh Steelers. So the Pittsburgh Steelers recently just lost to the Buffalo Bills 16-15 to on Sunday Night Football during Week 14 of the 2020 NFL season. And listen, the sky is now falling for Pittsburgh. Um, they're still 11-2. and They've still, They're still holding on to the number two seed in the AFC. But it's pretty hard to ignore the fact that the Pittsburgh Steelers have not been playing great football the last couple of weeks. They just got dominated. By the Buffalo Bills. I know the I know the score does not indicate that, but if you watch that game, you know the Pittsburgh Steelers were dominated from start to finish by a very good Buffalo Bills team. Okay, um, they just came out flat. They dropped a lot of passes, and Pittsburgh they just did not execute at a high level. Their starting quarterback Ben Roethlisberger did not look good. Big Ben on the day had 187 yards. Only completed 56% of his throws, had two interceptions. And as the season has gone on, it seems like Ben Rosberger seems to be getting older and older as I speak today. Now, theoretically, he's getting older and older because as the day is going, you get older. But he's looking more and more like an older aging quarterback as the season continues to progress. and. A couple of weeks ago, I threw out the idea that the Pittsburgh Steelers, even when they were undefeated, that they might have already reached their ceiling as a team, that this team might have already peaked. And as the season has gone on, each and every day that goes by, I think less and less of Pittsburgh as a Super Bowl contender for Super Bowl 55. Um, Right now, Kansas City's better. Right now, Buffalo's better. Right now, Cleveland's better. Right now, Baltimore is better. Right now, Tennessee is better. That, that's just in the AFC. We're not even talking about Green Bay and New Orleans and teams like that. Now, does that mean Pittsburgh cannot win the Super Bowl or that they're frauds, that they're trash, they're no good? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying Pittsburgh is not a Super Bowl caliber team and that they're not good enough to win the Super Bowl because they have enough talent to win the Super Bowl. But... I just don't know they're going to get over the hump this year. They're they're banged up right now on defense. Obviously, Devin Bush has been out for most of the season. Bud Dupree is out now for the rest of the year. Pittsburgh, they've got a lot of injuries right now. Their secondary is kind of banged up. Their offense has no identity. Um, their team right now that just cannot consistently run the football effectively. They've got no balance attack. Their running game is not very good. Ben Roethlisberger seems to be wearing down. The wide receivers are dropping passes, and the defense is banged up. It's not a recipe for success. And I just truly believe that the brand that is the Pittsburgh Steelers is slowly but surely falling off. Um, It's been over a decade since the Pittsburgh Steelers, as an organization, has won a Super Bowl. And right now, today, I think Kansas City is a better future. I think Buffalo has has just as good of a future as them. I think because of the Mar Jackson's age, the Baltimore Ravens have a better future. I like what the Cleveland Browns are building. I like what the Tennessee Titans are building. Heck, the Miami Dolphins, if Tua Tungvaloa continues to play better and better, the Miami Dolphins could be building something special. Not to mention, you still have to deal with you know, Bill Belichick, you mean to tell me Bill Belichick is going to be, you know, having below 500 seasons forever? Bill Belichick this year very well could win eight games. And this is in a down year for Bill Belichick. You mean to tell me Deshaun Watson is not going to get a head coach for, for him that's good one day? If the Houston Texans hit on their next head coach, their window starts opening, in my opinion. And when you look at Ben Roethlisberger, sure, Ben Roethlisberger is still a very good quarterback, but... He's not in his prime anymore, and I'm not sure the Pittsburgh Steelers have a plan put in place for who's going to be their next quarterback in the future right now because on the roster currently, Mason Rudolph's not the guy. The Hodges is not the guy. So who's going to be the guy? Are the Pittsburgh Steelers going to go out and spend some money for agency one day? Are they going to have to maybe trade for a Dwayne Haskins or a Sam Darnold? Two guys that, are, that have some talent. I'm not that sold on Sam Darnold. I believe in Dwayne Haskins, but... You know, it's very safe to say that Haskins, you know, he might not be ready to take over a, fr- over a franchise right away. What if Ben Roethlisberger out the blue just suddenly retires? He's been contemplating retirement pretty much at every single press conference, it seems like. 
I mean, what's the Pittsburgh Steelers' plan of the future? Now, I believe Pittsburgh is going to figure it out because they're arguably one of, if not the most well-run organization in all of football. But right now, those are some question marks for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And when we evaluate Mike Tomlin, Mike Tomlin is one of the best head coaches in all of football. He's been in Pittsburgh for 14 years. They've never had a losing season. And he's won a Super Bowl. That's great. But how has this team peaked with Mike Tomlin? Because over the past decade, the Pittsburgh Steelers have had some really, really good teams. They really have. They've had some great teams, great rosters, and no Super Bowl to show for it. It just seems like this team has not gotten over the hump since Mike Tomlin won his first ever Super Bowl with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And, it's, and I'm not sure if they can ever get over the hump again with Mike Tomlin, okay? You know, and listen, to be very clear, I'm not advocating for Mike Tomlin to be fired, okay? Because you don't fire a guy that's a stable head coach that's top, you know, three or five in his position, okay? And for what it's worth, you maybe could see the Pittsburgh Steelers get over the hump with Mike Tomlin, but history right now shows that might not be the case. So. I don't know, man. We'll see. I just I just look at Pittsburgh and I say, right now, today, they may not be among one of the favorites to win the Super Bowl, even though they definitely have the talent to do so. But right now, they're not executing at a high level. And we've seen McDonald's. It used to be the standard of fast food. Now, today, I think a lot of people would prefer Chick-fil-A over the McDonald's and Burger Kings of the world. By the way, Popeye's my favorite fast food restaurant. That's some good chicken right there. And their apple pies. Man, that's off the charts. But either way, not speaking too much on food anymore. It just seems like the Pittsburgh Steelers brand is kind of slowly eroding away. There's some good up-and-coming teams. Is Pittsburgh well-run? Yes. Is Pittsburgh a great organization? Yes. But, however, the Pittsburgh Steelers brand, slowly but surely, could be eroding away as time goes on, as it's been over a decade since Pittsburgh has won a Super Bowl. I'm not sure when they're going to get back as I speak today. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. And I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.